Hey guys, Dan here from Your Guitar Academy and welcome back to lesson 8 in our Intermediate Guitar Gym course. And we're now going to do another pentatonic exercise. This time we're going to sequence the exercise in threes. Okay, so one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, okay. And then we're going to go across the fretboard. Okay, so laterally. So we've really worked at the kind of down up approach in the previous exercise. And now we're going to start going across the board to create some more fluid uh, legato based lines that will again help you really master these shapes both sideways and down and up. So loads to go through. So pick up your guitar and let's get started. Okay, so if you've just joined us, don't forget that you can get all the lesson write-ups, interactive tab, and fretboard diagrams absolutely free over on our website. And we'll put the links in the description below and in the video. Also, if you're enjoying this lesson and the course so far, please do leave us a like, hit the subscribe button, and leave us a comment to let us know how you're getting on or if you've got any questions. We do our absolute best to answer every single one of them. Finally, if you're on Instagram and want to share your progress with us, then please do tag us at Your Guitar Academy. We genuinely can't wait to see how you're getting on with this course. One, two, three, and a four. E. Okay, so that's the exercise that we're going to be using. And again, just as an example, this is such a usable exercise. If I play just another quick little loop in A minor, so a G minor, sorry. You can see it's great. Combined with all your other stuff, you're going to get a lot out of this really cool little exercise. So let's take you through it. It's using the same G minor key that we used in the last lesson, so nothing new there, but we are going across the shape, so a little bit trickier in that respect. Okay, so the sequence is three notes up, one note back. Okay, like this. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay, so again, the sequence is the sequence uh, irrespective of the framework. So the framework in this instance is the pentatonic shape one, but it could be, you know, the major scale, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. It could be the minor scale, the Dorian scale, the Phrygian, whatever it could be. It's just the basic sequence concept is three notes up, one note back, okay? And that's what you then repeat. So in the context of the framework of the G minor pentatonic, we've got one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Okay, so you can see we've gone up three notes. One, two, three. We come back to the previous note that we, that we uh, just went through and go three up from there. One, two, three. Back to the previous note. One, two, three. Back to the previous note. One, two, three. Okay. The only thing to add to that is that we're trying to do it with more legato style. So we're going to do any, any time where we can do a hammer on. So we've got two notes on one string. We will do. In this instance, there. Okay, it's going to be our hammer on. So hammer on, pick, 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 hammer on, hammer on, pick, 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 hammer on. So like this, really slowly, okay, without the gaps, because remember we're trying not to do gaps here. It's all in one flowing motion. With the plectrum hand, you know, because we're doing the legato, don't worry too much about it because we, you know, we're working with a situation whereby the, the right hand's not going to be too busy. Um, but just generally try and stick to your kind of alternate picking motion is what I would suggest. But overall, just really the focus here should be the left hand, especially when we're doing legato work. Okay, so 
That is our first part of our exercise. So we're gonna start in box one and we get up to the root note. So one, two, three, four. Then we move position to box two, okay, of the G minor pentatonic. And we do the same format, okay, same uh, structure, okay, same framework, but now in box two. So we're gonna go one, two, three, four, like that, okay? So again, I'm not referencing tab, I'm trying to reference the shape. So look at the shape. Make sure you've got the shapes in front of you if you need to. Again, available in the workbook or if you, uh, if you downloaded the course or on the website, if you just want to use that. Okay, one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay. And what I'd say with this little fiddly part of box two is I try and use my first finger. So first, third, first finger when I go to that B string rather than the second finger. Just makes that whole thing a little bit easier. So try and kind of use that, that fingering there, okay? okay? Then we move up again position. So now we're in box three of the pentatonic and we're gonna go pick, and that's on the eighth fret we're starting as the root note of G. Hammer onto the 11 and then the eight, back to the middle note. Okay, and then we're here. And now at this point, we're gonna to need to start doing some really cool slidey slidey. So we've done this. And now we're gonna go, same sequence, but just on one string, okay? So here we're gonna hammer on, eight to 10, slide up to 13, which is my box four, back to the 10, hammer on the 13, slide up to 15, which is box five. So all together that part of the sequence. Okay, and that brings us to the end of the main part of the sequence. So I'm gonna go through all of that without any gaps, but real slow. And then, sorry, I did that wrong, I did that again, because remember when we get to the octave, we stop for a second, or we move positions, I should say. So now we move position. So now we move position. There we go. Okay, and now a bit quicker. And there we have it. That's the first part of the sequence. We then break for one beat and then we do this bit. Okay, which is the, the same sequence, the same idea of the three notes and then back, but we're going in reverse. So we're going downwards as well as just all in one shape. Okay, so you can really build up some speed on that. Okay, so uh, I like this one because this is one of my colleagues' favorite exercises. I'm not like, I haven't used this one as much as I could do, um, but I hear him use it all the time in his playing. It sounds so cool. So I, I really kind of, I know that if you get this one together, it's just a great one to have. Um, so we're going to go from the, the, the 13th fret down box five of the pentatonic in three. So one, two, three. Remember, we're doing pull-offs now rather than hammer-ons, of course. So pull-off and then back to the middle note. Pull off, pluck, 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 pull off. Make sure you're doing box five, okay? So we're, we're dealing with the 12th fret and 15th fret here. And then, so again. And then one, two, three, 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 one. 
One, two, three, 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 one. Okay, so there's your exercise. So the first thing I would do is just pause this video and just take a minute or, well, a minute, a day, a week, however long it takes to just get the idea of the exercise under your fingers, okay? So the legato needs to be strong, the hammer rolls need to sound good, the pull-offs need to sound good, the actual concept of the three and then back one needs to settle in. And again, with all sequences, you will find there's that moment where you're just like, what is this, what is this? And then boom, it will just click. Ah, there it is, there's that sequence. I can now do it across the entire neck, easy peasy. Um, so it does take a little bit of time to settle in, but what we'll do now is we'll slow it down to the speed I want you to get it up to. Okay then, so we're gonna get our drum beat on at 60 BPM eighth notes, so nice and slow. It's gonna give us a real good chance to go through this and get it mastered. Remember, we always want to practice slow first, really slow, so that you can be thinking consciously about am I hammer on sounding good? Have I got this technique right? You know, am I doing small strokes with my plectrum? Are my fingers not going too far from the fretboard? All these things add together, and when you've got them all great, uh, or all nice and clear within yourself, then the speed will just be there. Okay, so here's the beat. Get the timer on. And we're gonna give this a go, okay? So one, two, three, try and do it with me. Four, and one, and two. down the fretboard. Okay, so we're gonna do that again, okay? I think actually I might have missed one last bit of that last ending there. If you were thinking, oh, there should be another bit there, you're probably right, let's do that again. Um, one, two, three, four. So we'll do it one more time, guys. This is your aim, remember, to try and play along with me. We need to have it at this speed before we do the mega workout at the end of the unit. So one, two, three, four. And there we have it. So, good luck, try and get that together at that speed and add this exercise to the previous one. Okay guys, that's it for now. Thanks again for watching and when you're ready, please click through to the next video which you'll find here somewhere or if you wanna start from the beginning of the course, you can find the full playlist right here. Once again, please do hit that like and subscribe button and leave us a comment to let us know how you're getting on or if you've got any questions. I'll see you next time.